Here's a story you'll only see on WUSA 9. A longtime public servant in Alexandria is sharing his final days on the job with us. Yeah, Chief Don Hayes has been with the police department for more than four decades. He's seen many changes in his city throughout the years from growth to crime. In tonight's exclusive interview, he sat down with our Matthew Torres to talk about what's next. These are badges that I bought because I believe in um, supporting the cause. With only two hours left before his time at the Alexandria City Police Department is up. Come on, Chief, let me draw you. I said sure. Chief Don Hayes is showing us around his office filled with family portraits and mementos. Yeah, this was my um, identification when I was assistant chief. Despite the stress, right? You have That's an age. Right. You know, I tried, but my hair is gone. After 44 years yeah, with the agency, including two and a half years in the chief role, Hayes is moving to the Federal Reserve Board in D.C. as the new chief of the law enforcement unit. You say, okay, it's time to do something different. And I always wanted to work in Washington, D.C. Hayes admits the stress in what he describes as a high-impact job slightly played a role in his decision-making. He's leaving confident that he made a difference by pairing his badge with empathy. I hope I made an impact um, in the lives of people um, by not arresting them. But by but just helping them in situations where, you know, they needed help. Hayes says one of his biggest accomplishments is serving as the first drug abuse resistance education officer, as indicated by a former student. He stopped and he says, You're Officer Hayes. I said, Yeah, I am. He says, I just want to tell you this. He says, You taught me dare when I was in the fifth grade. He says, I just want you to know I've never used drugs. And that had such a profound effect on my life. He says the uptick in juvenile crimes remains one of the city's biggest challenges. We have to find a way to reach them before they get involved in crime. <laughs> but for now, as he closes one chapter, he's ready for another one. Change is um, it's just it's challenging, and, but I think it's good. I also asked him what his advice would be for the next chief. He says to prioritize mental health calls as well as making sure officers feel taken care of and incentivized so they can stay longer amid ongoing staffing shortages. In Alexandria, Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.